Hi guys, Ameya here and welcome to Want to Learn Programming. This is the 12th video in the series Basics of C Programming. In this video, we will look at decision making in C. We will also look at how to write an if statement. So let's start. Decision making statements are also called as branching statements. The user specified conditions are to be evaluated and if the conditions are true then some part of the code is executed. If the conditions are not true then some other part of code will be executed, the previous part will be skipped or it will be continued from the next statement. So we will look into detail of decision making statements in the next 2-3 videos. So the types of decision making statements are 5 in number that is if statement, if else statement, else if ladder statements, nested if statements and the switch statement. First let's look at if statement in this video. If statement consists of a boolean expression or condition followed by one or more statements. The syntax for if statement is if condition or expression and then in flower brackets we put a block of statements. Let's look at the flow chart for if statement and understand how this executes. So when the code comes to this condition, if the condition is true then these block of statements is executed. If the condition is false then the execution skips these block of statements and continues to the next statement. If the condition was true and this block of statements is executed, after this block execution it continues to the next statement. So this is a simple if statement. Let's look at a sample program which explains how to write an if statement. This program is used to check if the number is odd. Let's try to make this program user friendly. So the first statement that has to be put in any C programs is the header files. So we will include stdio.h and stdlib.h into our execution. Next we call the in main function along with two flower braces. So to find out if the number given is odd or even we first declare a variable a. Next we ask the user to enter a number and using the scanf statement using percentage %d as the format specifier as a is integer we write the value of a into this variable. Now to check if the number is odd we use the if statement. If a mod 2 is equal to equal to 1 that is if the remainder of a and 2 is 1 then the number is odd. So we print the statement the number percentage d is odd. If the number was even then a mod 2 is equal to 0 and it skip this execution altogether and goes to the next statement. As always the end of the program is you there is written 0 used. So we have some practice questions for you to understand how to write these statements. I recommend that you execute this program first in code blocks and then move on to these practice questions. If there are any doubts in these practice questions you can always comment in the comment section of the YouTube video. So if you like this video click on like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. In the next video we will look at two more types of statements that is the if else statement and the else if ladder. Thank you.